Have you ever needed a projection to follow a specific shape? Well, that's where Intersect Project comes in. And let me show you how you can use it. So here's a good example of where you might want to use the Project Intersect command. I'm working on this guitar neck and I want to create these frets like you see here along this guitar neck. Now you can see that the neck is curved and so I want these frets to also be curved. Now I can't just create one of them and pattern them because the neck is actually tapered as it goes down the length of the neck. So if I were to pattern this one, for example, it would be too short. It wouldn't reach the full length or the, I'm sorry, the width of the neck um, down here near the end. And also I couldn't use the pattern command because of the spacing of the frets. So I'm going to show you how I went about creating these frets here. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove the ones that I've already created. I'll just uh, remove those out of there. Um, I'm going to show you a couple different tips and tricks in this video. Um, one of the first ones I'm going to show is actually this comment field. I'm going to go ahead and expand this open and you'll notice that I've actually documented some stuff in here that's important to me that I don't want to forget or have to like write down on a post-it note or something. I can actually document it right inside my design. So for example, I documented what the scale length of the guitar is going to be. It's going to be 25.5 inches. And then I also documented what the fret spacing formula is, uh, which is 17.817. And so you can see you take the scale length, you divide it by that 17.817, and it gives you this distance of 1.432. Then to get the next fret spacing, you take the, the scale length and you subtract that number from it and you get 24.07. And then you basically continue that on. So then I would take 24.07, divide it by the 17.817 and get another number. So um, you'll see if I say show more. So you can see 2407 divided by 17.817 equals 1.35. And you just continue that along and that's what gives you these spacing. So let me show you what that means. So I'm going to come in here and create an offset plane from this face right here. And I'm going to start to drag. And my first distance is this 1.432. So I'm going to type in minus 1.432. And that is going to be where my first fret is going to be. Then I subtract that 1.432 from the 25.5 and I get this 2407. And that I divide that by 17.817 and I get the 1.35. So I'm just going to offset this guy minus 1.35. And that's where the next fret location is going to be. And then I would just continue that on and on to get all of the, the spacings for the frets. Now I'm just only going to do one or two of these to kind of show you um, the idea. So I can also grab the corners of these uh, construction planes to change the size of them. So you'll notice how they're fairly large. I can also grab the edge. So if I grab the edge, it just moves it up and down. But if I grab the corner, I can move both the uh, both edges at the same time. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And I'll make that a little bit smaller so it kind of fits the screen a little bit better. Okay. I'll go ahead and minimize my comments here. So I now have the um, this plane, this construction plane, slicing through the neck. And I'm going to go ahead and create a sketch on that plane. And I'm going to rotate isometrically so you can kind of see what's going on here. So this plane, disregard this other construction plane. Let me go ahead and turn um, that off really quick. So this sketch plane is slicing through this neck at the correct distance that we told it to. And if I go into my Create menu under Project, you're probably really familiar with the Project command, but there's also this Intersect command. And I really like this. I use this quite a bit. So I'm going to say intersect and you can see that we can select geometry and just like the project command, we can do specified entities or the whole body. Now watch what happens when I get near this top surface. You can see this red line appear. 
So with this selection filter set to specified entities, I'm telling it I only want to project this top curve. And if I click on that, it's actually going to intersect. It's going to project anything that's intersecting this plane that we've created here, this sketch plane. And since this face intersects that plane, it's drawing that line like so. If I were to do that again, I just canceled out. If I come in here and I say intersect and let's change it to bodies. And if I hover over this body now, you can see if I click on that, you can see it's going to project the whole intersection of the body as it's slicing through this plane, as it's intersecting through that plane. So you have a couple different options there. I'm going to do the specified entity and I'm just going to select that top curved surface and say OK. And we now have this intersection curve. And I'll just say finish sketch. I'll go ahead and turn on the other construction plane. I'll go ahead and pre-select it, right mouse click and say create sketch. And I'll just do the exact same thing. So now you'll see that the sketch is farther back. It's on that other construction plane. And I'll do the exact same thing. I'll say project, intersect. We'll click on this face. And what's nice about this is, as I mentioned before, you know, this neck is tapered as it goes down. So this curve here is slightly different than this curve here. And it's projecting all the way from edge to edge. So I'm getting the exact curvature where this neck is as it's slicing through that plane. And that's very important. Okay, so that's the intersection projection command. Now I want to create the fret uh, along this curve. Now you might think, well, you could use the sweep command, um, but we'd have to create a, a path or actually a construction plane along a path. And then we'd have to create a sketch that kind of defines the shape of the fret wire. And then we could sweep it along. And that's absolutely a, a perfect solution. We could totally do that. Um, but I'm going to show what I think is an easier method, and that is to use the pipe command. So I'm going to go under the Create menu and select Pipe, and then it's asking for the path. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this path, and you can see that we have a couple different options in here, and one of them is this section. And so we can do circular, square, or triangular. So if I say square, it's going to basically take a square shape and sweep it along that path. I didn't have to create a sketch um, or a profile or anything like that. Now, obviously I wanna do circular. And then I also have this section size. Now, I did some research online and I found out that fret wire, um, the diameter is 0 0.08. And you'll notice I documented that into my comments. Um, that way I didn't forget. So again, I really like these comments where uh, if I do some research or something like that, I can document it into the comments and they get saved with the file. And so that's why you see the section size is 0 0.08. I could make that any size I want. You can see how that follows the curve of the uh, projection that we did. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and set that back to 0 0.08. And uh, if I wanted to, we could make it hollow. We don't need to in this case, but you have the ability to, to make it a hollow pipe. And we're gonna make this a new component. So I'll go ahead and say, okay, and we can see there's that new component. Um, I'll do that again on this other one. I'll go ahead and say uh, pipe, what's the path? I'll click on that. It remembers all of the last settings. I'll say, okay, and it created another new component. I could rename these. So I can call this fret 01 and call this you know, fret 02, for example. Okay, now let's say you'll notice it's round and it's going down inside um, the wood, which obviously we don't want. Uh, fret wire, it's actually kind of like a half moon with a vertical uh, section that gets pressed down into a groove. And I want to kind of simulate that. So I'm going to activate um, my my fret component here. And let's use this surface to kind of split this in half. So I'm just going to come in here and say split body. Body to split. What's the splitting tool? We'll go ahead and select that top surface there. 
And I have extend turned on and you can see how it's just extending ever so slightly. I'll say okay. And you can see how it used that top surface to split that and we don't need this first body here. So I'm gonna remove that out. And we now have a fret that follows the exact curvature of the neck. Now I wanna create kind of the, the vertical section. Here's an example of what fret wire looks like, you know, in a cross section. So we just created this round section and now we wanna create this vertical section. I'm not gonna worry about the little uh, grippy parts um, in this example, but you kind of get the idea of what we're trying to create here. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to um, turn off the uh, fretboard just to kind of get it out of the way. And I wanna create that vertical section. And, and again, there's many different ways we could go about doing this, but I would have to like, for example, create uh, a profile. I'd have to create, um, you know, a plane along a path or something like that. Um, so here's a neat little trick. I'm going to go ahead and go into surfacing and I'm just going to create an offset of this face right here of zero distance. And if I say OK, we just basically copied that surface, the bottom surface of our fret. So you can kind of see that there. Then I can use that. I'm going to go ahead and just say thicken. And I'm going to thicken that surface. And thicken is almost like an extrude, right? It's just basically going to take that flat surface and give it some kind of thickness. And again, doing some research, um, it's 0 0.05 uh, for the tang, I guess is what it's called. And so we're just going to add some thickness there. And you'll notice it says new body. I want that in this case. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And we now have this separate new body. But what's cool about this is I can now come in and offset these faces. So I'm going to just grab a couple of these faces like so and do a press pull. And as I drag this in, you can see how we're now creating this vertical section here. And I need to go 0 0.03. And very quickly, I was able to create that um, vertical section of the wire. Now I also recessed it back a little bit like this because um, if I turn the fretboard back on, um, you know, I'll probably use my CNC machine to plunge down and create the groove for this to get pressed into. And I don't want the grooves to come out on the sides like you see here, for example. Um, I might want them to be buried a little bit um, inside so you don't see those grooves. Again, it depends on your manufacturing process, how you want that to turn out. So let's take a look. I'll go ahead and turn um, the neck back on and we can kind of see what the finished product would look like. I could even come in here, um, you know, maybe we uh, add a fillet to these, 0 0.04. We round those over, something like that with a file to make those look really nice. I'll say okay, and there is our finished fret. And I would just basically rinse and repeat to, to do that on the, the next um, fret down the line. Because again, I can't pattern this, I can't copy it because each one is different. But you can see that's a pretty quick process, especially using like that, that offset face and then thicken um, you know, instead of doing a whole bunch of sketches and sweeps or lofts or whatever, you're just using really basic commands to make the uh, frets very quickly and easily. So hopefully you saw the benefit of using intersect projection in an example like this with the uh, guitar neck and the curved surface. I hope you learned something new with that video. Also, I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, I please ask that you like and subscribe and push me over that 10,000 mark. And as always, have fun learning fusion. See you next time.